The last hero added in year 5, the pirate brings the future to For Honor in the form of being the first hero in a new worldwide faction, and Gun. She's the first hero who can use feats as part of her combos and has great potential in all game modes. The pirate has a very simple moveset with two hit chains, but don't let that deceive you. Any chain starter links into either an undodgeable light or hyper armor heavy. While the pirate's chains technically end there, they actually don't. For her bash, pirate wields a gun. So uncivilized. You can shoot your shot after any heavy, and I mean any heavy. But there's a catch. If a heavy lands, your gunshot is guaranteed and deals 5 damage. If you whiff or the heavy is blocked, your bash can be dodged but deals 14 damage if it lands. Both gut shots chain into your finishers. And you don't need to worry about reloading because Pirate memorized the San Andreas cheat code for unlimited ammo. You might be wondering then, why bother ending a chain with an undodgeable light if I can't use funny gun? Good news, you've still got the option to dodge attack or give your opponents a shank with walk the plank. The pirate can't sit still because of her ADHD, so while most heroes stand still to recover, she can dodge around however she wants, meaning many of you can live out your dreams of becoming a Beyblade, <laughs> at least virtually. This applies to literally every move, including the bash, whether it hits or it misses. You could also dash forward heavy for unblockable pressure. This hyper-armored attack is your best option out of neutral other than whiffing into the silly shank. After any attack, including the gunshots, moving backwards and pressing heavy in any direction makes your opponents walk the plank, likely into the afterlife. Both of these moves can be soft fainted into a guard break, and while walk the plank may not have hyper armor, it deals much more damage and has three different follow-ups. If you don't press buttons, walk the plank sends a knee into your opponent that wall splats and completely restarts your chain. If you're outnumbered, you may consider dodging, or because Walk the Plank uses the heavy button, you can fire a point blank pistol shot that somehow doesn't insta kill, but at least links back into a finisher. So, to quickly recap, heavies let gun go boom, and 90% of moves can be followed up with a finisher, a dodge, or a lot of fucking damage. You can't fire a gunshot after the pirate's zone attack, despite being a heavy parry. The sprinting heavy sends you flying forward and does link into gun. If you were curious, you can indeed enter the minion lane and start blasting. If you were also curious, Blackbriar can only flip the whiffed or blocked version of Pistol Shot, unless the stars align while they have revenge. Because she can cancel recoveries with dodges, if you zone into some all guards, you may have a shot at avoiding damage. Arguably the most unique thing about the pirate is that she's the first hero who can use her feats mid-combo. Anytime you can use the pistol shot, you may opt to use one of her four unique feats instead. Just like the pistol shot, if a heavy lands, the tier 1 and tier 3 are guaranteed. Speaking of, on heavy parries, throw a light or zone attack. Light parries and guard breaks earn you heavy into pistol shot. Wall splats from a throw also get you heavy into pistol shot, but the gunshot deals reduced damage. At max range, you can backstep light into walk the plank. But it doesn't pin, because if it did, it would wall splat again, and holy shit, you can do it. When your opponent has gone colorblind, or you become a Super Saiyan, fairies will let you zone or light into heavy and gunshot. Rows in any direction get back-to-back -back heavies and a pistol shot. Alternatively, you could throw the appropriate opener and follow up with Walk the Plank. You're vulnerable to guard break on wake up if your opponent has stamina. But thankfully, Pirate's ADHD lets you combat this. If you're up against a wall, you can give your opponents a short break by putting them in a cutscene combo. If only the walls could move, then this cutscene could go on forever. Thankfully, if you got a good friend, you can do just that. There's so many pirate videos and information coming out now that I'm not sure who found this first, but I did see it first performed by Havoc.
Remember that in 4v4s, any of the aforementioned punishes that have a pistol shot can use the tier 1 or tier 3 pistol shot for 5 additional damage and either a defense debuff or 30 bleed damage. If you're feeling particularly evil in 4s and you've got the time, yeah, I've got time, there's a lot of combos you can guarantee with the tier 4. Is it worth throwing away two feats to potentially kill one person? That's up to you to decide. Some heroes only need one feat. Not to mention, most times you won't get that extra heavy because of distance. It's important to note that if the unfortunate soul is about to regain stamina or you're in revenge, you can only throw one heavy or one light before pulling out the noob tube. Thankfully, the heavy gun 100-0 gank from the early access is no more, as the gun feeds much more revenge. That doesn't mean that punish isn't useful anymore, or that there aren't other 100-0 ganks that you can use to decimate your enemies through the power of friendship and this gun. The gun can also be customized since it's a part of the pirate's base kit. I know I already made this joke, but you can make the pirate look like anything but a pirate, including a western bandit, bonehead, k-pop star, or Yu-Gi-Oh card. Like Kyoshin, some of the alternate pieces let you change the color of the hair based on your paint pattern or material color, which is always a nice addition. But otherwise, the materials seem to only affect the outlines and details of armor. Like all heroes released since Black Prior, the ornaments are decorative shoulder pads. Pirate's gear perks are Shields Up, Aegis, Devourer, Endurance, Survival Instinct, Headhunter, and Fresh Focus. In 4v4s, the pirate has the following feats. Tier 1 is Armor Piercing Slug, Tireless, and Bounty Hunter. Armor Piercing Slug deals 10 damage and pierces an opponent's armor, making them take 20% more damage over the next 10 seconds. Tireless increases Pirate's Cardio, making everything cost 17% less stamina. Claiming a Bounty rewards you with a full green bar and 20 HP. In Tier 2, the Pirate has Pocket Bomb, Bloodlust, and Thrilling Comeback. Pocket Bomb steps back and tosses a bomb with a tiny radius and long explosion time. As you've likely seen on Reddit by now, the bomb can be returned to sender as if you needed any other reason not to take this feat. Bloodlust helps satiate your bloodlust by boosting your attack and defense after killing an enemy hero. And Thrilling Comeback recovers some health when you enter Revenge. In Tier 3, there is Trick Shot, and it doesn't matter about the other two. Trick Shot ricochets between up to four nearby enemies, dealing 10 direct damage and 30 points of bleed damage to each enemy it hits. Tough as Nails increases your max health, and Punch Through increases your chip damage when your heavies are blocked. Lastly, in Tier 4, there is Gunpowder Surprise, Regenerate, and Indomitable. Gunpowder Surprise is not only the funniest name for a feat, but acts as a ranged version of Yorm's Twilight of the Gods. Regenerate slowly heals you when out of combat and not sprinting. And Indomitable gives you a temporary shield when you reach critical health. While Armor Piercing Slug is a decent feat, you could definitely trade it out for Bounty Hunter. As I mentioned earlier, there's a ton of reasons not to take Pocket Bomb, and Bloodlust being an option is one of them. Trick Shot is undoubtedly the best tier 3, and while it's a bit of a toss-up because of Indomitable, Gunpowder Surprise is just too much fun to pass up. While the pirate only has two hit chains, she has many options that link her back into her finishers and keep her chains going on indefinitely. With the reliance on heavy attacks to get into the fun gun, it means we'll see complaints of heavy spam in the future, and I can't wait. If you want a hero that has lots of mix-up options, is easy to pick up, or you really just like pirates, then definitely try the pirate. Still can't believe that's the name they went with. If you want more info on specific damage values, attack timings, what executions are the most efficient, and more, the For Honor Information Hub has a beautiful spreadsheet that I've linked down below. Huge shout out and thank you to everyone who helped me gather footage in early access and when the pirate went live to test a few things. Thank you for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters who helped make these videos possible, especially Shadow. What do you think of the pirate so far? Let me know down in the comments below. Have a good one, and I will see you on the next video. Say